It was my greatest victory. The dream of every commander. I had deluded myself into thinking I could unite all the kingdoms under a single flag. But further battles would be needed. There was more blood to shed. For the first time, I felt lost. It was too late to turn back, yet too early to declare that foolish war over forever. My crown could no longer have withstood the weight of more lost lives. So it was that in the depths of desperation, I raised my eyes to heaven praying that someone infinitely greater than me could help me. The gods stayed silent. But that very day, someone else decided to listen to my pleas. What evil thing is this? Who are you? When someone answers your prayers, you call it evil. Yet to get more power, you trample over all the principles on which your race rests. How valuable this tendency is for us, King Wolf Khan. What do you want from me? Why are we here? How do you know my name? It's very simple. I want to thank you a pact that will put an end to your foolish remorse. Thank me? What for? For the blood you have spilt over all these years. The blood of brave warriors, but also blood of the innocent. Guilty only of being on the wrong side in the conflict. You have been our unwitting messenger of death, who has made us again as powerful as we once were. Do you want to end the war early? Reign as sole monarch of the whole continent. We are ready to give you what you want, but on one condition each of your heirs must be sacrificed to our Dark Lord. How can you even think I could accept so foul an offer? Don't lie to yourself. You already have. Over the years, the memory of that day faded, almost into nothing. Years of great victories followed. The destructive fury of our swords was truly awesome. Nothing seemed capable of stopping us. One warm spring saw the birth of Luna, my daughter. 
The overwhelming joy that invaded my heart, however, was chilled by a terrible discovery. On Luna's chest, there was a mark, like a scar. The demon had kept its promise, and now I had to keep mine. Help me, I'm trying to find the king. I have an important message for him. Your dead queen. I couldn't believe my very eyes. Could it be Lorna, your lost daughter? Look, I have kept her in a cell, apart, so no one else may see her. You must see her, your majesty. I knew you peasants from the lands to the east could handle a hoe, but not a sword. <laughs> if you insist, I'll show you where we yokels from the east stick our hoes. Leave him alone, please. 
You'll have a chance to show this puppet a lesson at the tournament. Better listen to your little girlfriend, yokel. Besides, it'll be more fun watching you eat the mud in front of an arena full of people. So, on his deathbed, the man who I believed to be my father for all of those years told me a story. He said when I was a little baby, he saved me from drowning in the Khmer River. He said moments before he saw some type of mysterious hooded figure throw me in. This is the only thing I have from my past. This little stone. Since then, I have traveled around the world looking for this stone. I knew if I found it, I'd also find my real parents. I just wanted to ask them why they did this to me. May I burn in hell if ever we were guilty of such infamy. The truth is, someone kidnapped you a few days after you were born. Everything we did to find you came to nothing. I thought I'd lost you forever, but fate has decided that we meet again. Welcome home, Luna. Kimok will now shine even more brightly than ever before. What you need now is rest. Your arrival comes the day before a great tournament that I've announced to celebrate 10 years of peace in our kingdom. It's the perfect way of blessing the festivities. Tomorrow, we shall speak. For now, rest. Guard, take her to the royal apartments. Make sure that no one enters without my consent. It's amazing how closely you resemble each other. The same light in your eyes, the same rays of sunshine in your hair. Looking at you means having her back with me, my daughter. You both look so happy in this picture. Yes, we were. Your birth brought great joy to our hearts. You should have seen us. We were like newlyweds. She had only been born just a few days, yet already she had begun to plan every moment of your future. How... how did my mother die? A part of her died the day when you were kidnapped. And then there was that night. But you have plenty of time to learn the history of your family, my daughter. Today is the eve of a great festival here in Kimok, and your return will make it an even more memorable event. I want everything to be perfect. In the meantime, I have a surprise for you. A surprise? Yes, I've had our best tailors make a special costume so that everyone can see the beauty of King Wolfkan's daughter.
off. For centuries, history has taught us that no army is invincible. With the coming of our kingdom, history has been forced to rewrite its pages. The crowns of the most powerful rulers have had to bow down before our implacable force. Thanks to our great warriors, Kimok now stands unopposed for splendor and glory by any other kingdom. That is why it is our duty now to celebrate their courage. But there is another reason to be happy. Proof that the past gives back more than just thoughts of war and blood. The past can even give us hope of a better future. This is Luna, my daughter, found again. <laughs> and now, let the tournament begin. Morrigan, bringer of doom. You're missing a great show. I ask you to talk to your majesty on a matter of the utmost urgency. Go on, speak. What have you got to say that's so important? I prefer to talk to your highness in private. Measure your words carefully. Remember you're in the presence of the Princess of Kimok. From her there should be no secrets. I would not dream of offending our princess so happily amongst us yet again. It is simply a matter concerning our lives. It would only bore the princess and distract her from the show. So be it. Out of my way. These issues have better be really important. So say what it is you have to say to me. She is not your daughter. What is this nonsense you're spouting? Luna is not the person she says she is. How what? dare you! I'll tear out that serpent's tongue of yours. She does not bear the scar on her body she was born with, you see. It cannot be. What do these inscriptions mean? They speak of an ancient brothel that will befall the kingdom of Kimok. But why does just looking at it terrify you so much? Once I met that demon, I tried to convince myself that it had been a nightmare. I made a pact with it. Kimok would prevail over all the kingdoms. And soon. And in exchange, the demon asked for the lives of your children. 
So that's why Luna was snatched away all those years ago. Now I finally understand what happened even after then. Yes. It was the price I had to pay. But how did you... Tell me what the prophecy says. The prophecy says that a human sacrifice must take place. That the noble blood spilt will awake Guamond, a huge titan who will take his armies and conquer the earth. Chaos will begin. Only the children of the Pact can kill the monster, but it must happen before the human sacrifice begins. It's time someone knew the truth. I always knew that sooner or later it would come to this, but I never thought it would happen in this way.
When is this ritual to take place? I do not know, my king. The book says nothing about when this will happen. It has already begun. <laughs> yeah! The winner is her! It's no time to lose. We must act now. But this time... You must trust me. Beware, witch. I have already made too many mistakes in my life. Today is coming to a close. And with it, the first part of the Kinoa tournament. Let the evening's feasting begin. At least I fight for a good reason. And tomorrow, I show you how to use this. <laughs> I like you, brother. But tonight, the tavern waits for us. Anihil. What? Listen to an old story. Two lovers, Lila and Mahnan, asked a priest, Nihil, to marry them in secret. But Nihil fell in love with Lila and corrupted Mahnan to convince Lila to kill herself to prove her love. Lila kills herself, but Mahnan runs mad with pain and Nihil feeds on it, becoming a demon. And so they call Nihil those demons who live on the suffering of man. And how do you fight them? Only a demon can fight another demon. Lila chose the way of hell to come back and defeat Nihil. <laughs> but it's just another children's story. Nothing else. Are you still thinking about that story for children?
things can change. The whole world's changing. And I'm beginning to fear that every night could be our last. Things end only when we want them to. But Cain... your problems in ancient history. Who are you? Who am I? It's a great question. You should know. Aren't you supposed to know everything? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe the more important question is, what do I know about you? Well, <laughs> maybe I know that you're prepared to tell the king everything about me. Maybe, hmm, I know after my poor mother passed away, you tried to make decisions that were supposedly in the best interest of the kingdom. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe I know about your most deep and darkest secret. Every single servant that passes through here has to get specially approved by you. <laughs> I know. I know exactly what you want. I know exactly what you fantasize about. A night of pure pleasure with the king's daughter, no less. I mean, I know you've been with almost every servant here, but... Let me ask you something. When was the last time you saw a body like this? What do you want from me? Are you going to kill me? No. But I'm afraid he is. world can follow through a mission that for too long awaits a solution. That person is you, Cain, and your arrival here in Kimo is a sign that none of
Welcome to the second day of the Kimok Tournament. To concentrate the greatness of our king, the first warriors will be Val from the Andorians. Clean all this up. Let not a trace remain. And not a word of it to anyone. The tournament must go on as though nothing has happened. After all, no one is going to miss her. Except me, old friend. I will. The next fighters are the great distributors from Cuneo and the Brave Hadron from Parkour.
Madonna! Kane, what are you doing here? You answer that question. That's my business. Shouldn't you be back at the tournament with your little friend? I've got a sword to find. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. No! You don't know what you've done! Don't you understand? That was the only way to... The sword is mine. Who gave you the viewer? You don't understand that weapon's power! It's none of your business, peasant! Get! Kane, you're a very strong man with your sword. But fight me like a real man. No weapons. Still playing, you two? Finally. Beyond time, beyond space, the truth, that which you are, but you do not know. Twins. Two twins have cost the Queen her life. Take them away, in opposite directions. Brothers, that's what you are. Blood unites you. A pact separates you. Only the hand of the sons of the pact can hold that which must not be seen. The sword will guide your journey. The sword of the pact will seal that which must not be seen in the darkness.
of oblivion. Kane, Kane, it's over. I'm here with you now. It's over, whatever it was. You two were like that moments ago. What happened? I don't know. It was uh, a nightmare, but like a new awareness of something that I already knew. Do you want to tell me what's... There. Luna, excuse me. I only... I just wanted to make sure that your rooms here were worthy of a princess. Oh yes, it's wonderful. It's just like a dream. I just want to be prepared for the, uh, the rest of the tournament. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Yes, uh... And whoever won the tournament also takes his kingdom. He sent you here separately. For a better chance, the sword would be captured. But what can that sword do? Find a father. Conquer a kingdom. Prevent a monster from conquering the world. 
Well, what are we waiting for? Search for the two waterfalls. Follow the sun at sunset and the darkest part of your soul. The doors to hell will close. What are you doing? Put the sword down. To prove my love for you, I have followed you to the gates of hell. You must complete our mission. 
If not, I will return and I will show you no mercy. Go, brother. There's no turning back from here.
Tina. Tina. You're alive. My beloved, this is how it must be. I have but a few hours left in the land of men. I will go and stop Har. Only a demon can fight another demon.
Now you know what you have to do, my sons. It's what you were born for, and the reason why I had you brought up far away and in obscurity. But blood calls, and destiny will be fulfilled. I knew you'd make it. Yes, but at what cost? I can't lose you again. Now you must look after your people. King of Kimak. <laughs> <laughs> 